up YouTube? Today is what the what's today? <laughs> Sunday. <laughs> Sunday. Sunday of week 22, I believe. I have so much backlogged footage. Actually, I think I'm almost completely caught up. I think I have one more video. So I think this will probably end up being the video for week 20. So let's see, 21, 22, 23. This will probably end up being the video for 23. But it's gonna be an interesting weekend and video for the week because I am going to a state that I have never heard before. Um, due to some unfortunate circumstances, but at the same time, we're gonna try to make the best of the situation and I'm going to try to find some snakes while we are in Kentucky this weekend. All right, guys, I will check back in when we get where we're going. I'll give you a little bit more information on what we're looking for and where we're gonna be. We have reached Kentucky. What's up guys? So we are in the hotel right now and uh, I wanted to do a little bit more talking about what my plans are for this trip. Um, I'm only up here for two days, I think, maybe Monday and probably Tuesday too, depending on external factors. But uh, yeah, so my main target for this trip is I wanna see a Kirtland snake. And uh, tomorrow morning I'm gonna go out, I'm gonna flip some trash. And if I get a Kirtland snake pretty early, I'm going to spend the rest of the day looking for local milk snakes and exploring new areas. Cause that's one of the things I love the most about herping is going to a new area and exploring new spots I've never been before. And that people didn't give me or tell me about. So I have a couple spots for Kirtland snakes that a buddy gave me, and I'm going to go look at some spots that I found on my own too. Um, and hopefully that produces. So that's what I'm going to do first thing in the morning. And the low overnight tonight is 53 degrees. It's amazing. I'm so happy that it's cooled off a little bit up here. Um, but yeah, I will check in with you guys in the morning. So I don't know if you can see me very well or not. And if you can't, it's because there's no light in here. <laughs> our power is out in our hotel. So it's kind of, kind of creepy, but time to go for some snakes. All right, guys. So the snakes I'm hoping to find today are pretty well known for living in weird places like this random ditch here in the middle of the city. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look for stuff I can flip down here and see if I can turn up one of these elusive little snakes. This board over here looks kind of good. Oh, turtle. Wow, little map turtle. That's freaking awesome. I was really hoping to see some cool turtles on this trip and check this guy out. This is a baby northern map turtle. Really awesome. My first one I've ever seen in Kentucky. That's too cool. <laughs> so flipping, flipping that first thing I flipped when I got out of the car and finding a baby map turtle underneath it was not something I was expecting, but that is very cool. I'm gonna take some photos of this awesome little guy and let him go. But first thing, I'm gonna put him in the water right here and see if he'll come out of his shell a little bit. So you can see just how beautiful this little turtle is. Look at that. Beautiful green head. Really awesome little turtle. This looks like another likely spot. Just this actual garbage. It's apparently something that they like to hide in. This looks like a good pile of trash right here. I'm not sure if these snakes are gonna be down here in the uh, in the water or more up on the dry land. Uh, so I'm gonna check both because I really don't know exactly what I'm looking for. Still no snakes yet though. This looks good. Nope. This looks like a good place to A, find another map turtle, which would be awesome and B, contract some sort of horrible illness in my feet. Only time will tell which will happen. All right guys, well I was walking the edge of this same ditch and I approached this log and these three jumped off of it. That top guy is another northern map turtle and these bottom two are red-eared sliders. But got another map turtle, that's pretty cool. I'm gonna let these two sliders go and photograph this map. 
check this big girl out. This is a big female northern map turtle. Here's that little male I just caught. I absolutely love catching big map turtles. This thing is incredible. There's another one in that big puddle right there, but I can only see before I murked it up too much and I was only able to catch one. But I'm gonna wait for that to clear and see if I can grab the other one that's in there. Check this girl out. I think this is a big eastern mud turtle. I still got the freaking map turtles. I took a few more steps and saw this girl. I had to take a look. Check that out. Big turtles. I'm going back this way because some uh, some people started yelling at me out the window of their apartment over there. This is not the best neighborhood, but... Oh man, where are these little snakes at? This is not the snake I'm looking for. But it is a snake, so I'm gonna keep looking and hopefully this is a little midland, or I guess up here it would be a northern water snake. But I'm going to keep looking and see if I can turn up the one I am looking for. There we go. Here's an actual board. I'm not seeing anything, unfortunately. Looks good though. of actual trash to be flipped. Let's see if I can get to him without getting bit here. Can't see what's what. Crap. Oh lord. That. <laughs> Let's get a better grip on him. Common snapping turtle. I know that was a bit of an ordeal, but I couldn't see where I was grabbing, and I did not want to end up on the wrong end of that mouth. Oh, oh man, this mud's deep. Pretty cool. First one of these from Kentucky. All right, I got a couple photos of this common snapping turtle, and I'm gonna put him back in his nasty ditch. <laughs> That's how I first saw him. He was just tooling along like that, and then he freaked out when he saw me. I bet there's some real big ones living in these dishes too. All right, back on the hunt for snakes. That's not a snake. I'm guessing she's probably on some eggs and doesn't want me anywhere near her. It's a groundhog, I think. We don't really have a lot of those in Georgia. Northern map turtle. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get this one or not. Okay, I see that. Here we go, I got her. Keep hold of her. Oh, she's a biter. There we go. Second adult female northern map turtle of the trip. Look at that. That is a good turtle. Beautiful. Hopefully this dish is gonna start producing snakes, but as long as I'm getting these as bycatch, I'm okay with it. Look at that. All right, Kentucky northern map turtle, adult female number two, releasing. Here we go. It's so freaking cool. Let's see if we can find any more. Guys, there's a beautiful little soft shell turtle right here. I think these are spinies, but I'm gonna get a hold of this girl real quick, or try to at least. Look at that. They're fast. Well, I think I've lost that soft shell, but hopefully I'll be able to find another one or recatch that same one here in a second. We'll see. So I saw the water was stirred up right here and I couldn't really tell what was going on for a second. But then I noticed 
this guy. Common snapper. Wow, he got sharp claws. Let go of me with those claws. All right, I'm gonna release this big guy. He's still a pretty small turtle for a, a, a common snapper. Okay. But they're a lot faster than alligator snappers and definitely more capable of giving you a nasty bite because they're they're more, you know, they're more agile. They got a little bit more reach. What a dinosaur. Go on. All right, back on the snake hunt. So I found a nice board pile up on the edge of the ditch and uh, started digging through it. That's three Kirtland snakes and the most beautiful Eastern garter snake of all time. I don't even know what to say about this. I'm honestly, I'm more stoked about this garter snake than any of these Kirtland snakes. Look at this thing. That's so insane. This guy's pretty nice though. Look at that red coloration. Holy crap. Well, mission accomplished. You can go back to Georgia happy now, I guess. This is crazy. I literally, I took, the boards are right there. That's all it took, was finding those little boards, three Kirtland snakes, and a great looking Eastern Garter. I cannot get over this garter snake. It's insane, actually. All right, guys, I'm gonna get a little video and photos of all these guys. This is probably the best looking of the Kirtland snakes I found. He's got some really good looking red coloration on him. Look at that. Something's making noise at me from upstream. I don't like it. <laughs> Anyways, this thing's really nice looking for sure. Oh. Wow, that's a cool looking little snake when he's in the water. These things look so cool in the water. I don't, they do that little neck flare thing and puff up a little bit. I don't want to lose him before I can photograph him, but I'm trying to show you just how freaking pretty this thing is. Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous snake. Oh, oh got him. Really awesome. I could not be happier with how today's gone. Lots of cool turtles and a couple of good snakes here at the end. It's only like noon too. Here's another look at this insane looking garter snake before I let it go. Look at that blue between the scales. And she is a little bit bitey too. I think she might be gratted. She's definitely a big healthy garter snake if not. This thing's crazy though. I'm almost as stoked about this as I am about the Kirtland snakes. Really awesome snake. I had never seen pictures of one like this from Kentucky. They might be normal like this here, but I don't know. If anyone lives in Northern Kentucky and <laughs> sees garter snakes a lot, is this a normal look for up here? Because if so, that's awesome. If not, it's still awesome. All right, I'm about to release these guys, but before I do, here's one more look at everybody. These two, this Kirtland snake here and this other one are both in shed, so I didn't photograph them or get any individual video of them. I think this this one here, this really dark one, was my lifer. I flipped him first with the garter snake. And then I flipped the other two Kirtland snakes under the same little piece. But I'm about to go throw them back into their pile of boards and see what else I can find. Um, I think if I can find more boards similar to those, I might can flip some live and you can actually see it. So that's what I'm probably gonna try to do with the rest of the day. These are some boards that I found on uh, Google Maps while my buddy sent me a few spots around here, but then I, I didn't have much luck at them and I decided to start looking for spots on my own and I found this little pile of boards, walked all the way to it, found these guys as a reward. So I'm gonna put these guys right back where I found them. All right guys, that was ridiculous. I'm very happy with how this morning has gone and uh, it's still pretty early. It's like 1 p.m. I photographed everybody, let them go, and uh, I still have the rest of the day ahead of me and tomorrow. So I think what I'm going to do today is explore this same little complex of ditches here a little bit more and see if I can find any more boards like that. And if not, I'm probably going to go back to the hotel, clean up, and get something to eat. But I will check in with you guys if I see anything else. Some kind of frog has been going crazy right here. Look at all these eggs. I'm guessing probably a leopard frog or toad of some sort, but I honestly don't know because I'm not very familiar with this area. All right, guys, check this out. I absolutely love finding turtles like this. You see this right here. It doesn't look very uh, indicative of there being anything here, but you'll see right here in a second what exactly I'm looking at. I've got it. <sighs> Come on. 
common snapping turtle number three for the day. <laughs> That's so cool. Look at that. He is not happy I pulled him out of his mud. He was right here by these frog eggs I was just looking at, too. Check that out. I'm going to rinse him off and get a better look at him. All right, here's a better look at this common snapping turtle, third one of the day. Uh, you don't want to pick these guys up by the tail if you can avoid it because it's actually pretty stressful on their spine. So I like to grab them really firmly behind the leg right here. As you see, I've got this guy. Uh, works really well with these smaller guys, but with the big ones, you can grab them up on that little up belly spot right there. You can grab them right there. Um, but I'm going to let this guy go before he gets me. <laughs> and he'll surely bury right back into that mud. There's people screaming in the neighborhood beside me again. I have to tread lightly. This is so wild. I already flipped this and I know what's under it, but next snake of the day, little northern water snake. He's just coiled up under here, so I'm gonna leave him right there and keep herping. Hey, would you look at that? Got this one. You're not getting away. No, no, no. There we go. Soft shell, spiny soft shell. First one I've actually gotten in hand today. That's a pretty turtle. It's such a weird looking creature. Good looking little uh, either small adult male or uh, just a juvenile spiny soft shell turtle. I'm gonna let this guy go and keep walking. Oh, Kirtland snake number four. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Wait a second, I'm gonna get some pictures. I didn't even know these things got this big. Look at this thing. That's so awesome. <laughs> so cool. I'm gonna get some pictures. This is really weird. He's bluff striking at me and gaping his mouth. I've never seen anything like that. This thing is so cool. This might be my favorite one I found today just because of how big it is and it's just awesome. It, it also just shed. When I picked it up, it started to shed its skin. So I let it finish shedding. Man, that's a cool snake. Here's a little more video of Queen Snake, or a uh, Queen Snake, uh, Kirtland Snake number four of the day before I let him go back here under his traffic cone I found him underneath. But yeah, this is probably definitely my favorite one of the day. Just the burliness of it. It's so different from the others. It just feels different to hold. Really, really thick. I think it's probably gravid maybe. I don't know but I don't want to mess with it too much in the case that it is gravid so she can lay her, I think they probably give life for it since they're a nature scene. But yeah, I'm gonna put this girl back under her traffic cone. All right, there you go. Keep cooking those babies. Let's see what else we can find. This thing looks like it was put here for curdling snakes. Nothing though. Good morning everyone. So I have a few hours this morning here in Kentucky before I have to head back to Georgia. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to check out some spots I found on Google Earth, some rocky areas, and hopefully try to flip a milk snake or a black king. We will see. What is up guys? So here's an idea of the kind of habitat I've been looking for this morning. Roadside rock cut. I'm going to flip some of these rocks and hopefully turn up a milk snake. All right guys, so I was flipping along this cut, along this busy highway. Been flipping for about 15 minutes, got to this rock. My first Kentucky Eastern milk snake. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful little milk snake too. Holy crap. I can't believe how lucky I got. First cut I stopped at turned up a milk snake. I'm gonna photograph this guy, release him, and try to find some more. Man, this thing is beautiful. Looks like it might have a little bit of red milk snake influence going on, but I just can't believe how lucky I am to have flipped this guy. It's it's the 2nd of June, I think, 3rd of June maybe, and uh, flipping season is really coming to an end in a, a lot of areas, so I feel like I'm pretty lucky to have gotten this guy today. Alrighty, it is time to let this little chewy guy go back into his pile of rocks. Stay off the road, buddy. All right, guys, unfortunately, it is time for me to start heading back to Georgia. It has been a hell of a past two days. Uh, this morning was kind of slow, but we did get a milk snake, and that's all that matters. That's all I really wanted to see this morning. That was the only snake I saw all morning. 
I was only out for uh, like two hours maybe, but still pretty awesome that we got to turn that guy up pretty quickly this morning. And uh, it was definitely strange that was the only snake of the day. But I'm headed back to Georgia for now, and I will see you guys next week.